Hey guys, Tata Cuts with DA here, and tonight I'm going to be checking out a new song for an upcoming indie animated series called Farfetched, which is actually one I've been keeping track of for the past few years. It's created by an animator named Ashley Nicholas, or Ashley Nichols. I don't really know how to pronounce her last name, but I do know is that she acted as the cleanup artist for Hasbun Hotel. Now, I don't know if she worked on the full series. I think she may have just worked on the pilot. But either way, this is a personal project of hers that I think is very interesting. Basically, it focuses on a very timid and shy girl named Rue, who somehow brings a creature of her imagination to life. A chaotic canine-like creature named Kira, who is basically like a purple dog mixed with a dragon. She's very adorable, but she's also, well, like I said, very chaotic. She can actually kind of shapeshift into more demonic forms. It's actually pretty interesting. I, I want to find out more about that. But anyway, Rue ends up joining a band called Sesamoy, which is composed of a group of misfits who basically try to make it big in their hometown and beyond. They basically drive around in, like, this ice cream truck. It's, like, a used ice cream truck that they bought for... And they use that as their, like, tour van. <laughs> basically, they're still in their, like, humble beginnings. But when she joins the band, a lot of other supernatural stuff appears. And they I guess they have to work together to uh, basically sort all that stuff out. I don't really know what the full premise is. It's still... In, the show is still in development. The, yeah. I watched the... Uh, Proof of Concept, when that first released back in 2021, then a year later, they uh, released a sneak peek for their upcoming pilot, which is they are still working on. And I think it reached around like 2 million views by now. But either way, it, this show it looks like it really flourishes. Like, like it, it's still being worked on, but I think it will be really, really good. Even though the pilot isn't out yet, like, they're still working on that. They still do, like, uh, art, web comics, and even song covers for, and original songs to help kind of support the show. And that's what I'm going to be reacting to today. This is the song Don't Fear the Reaper, which is, according to the description, is was a song created by the band Blue Oyster Cult. Which I'm pretty sure they're the band that did that one Godzilla song. Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> that you know that one they play at the end of a uh, king of the monsters it's like a remix like or just epic remix but either way that was the song they played in that movie anyway this is a cover song for that uh performed by sesamoid like this is uh like this is what i kind of like these are like uh this is like a song that's being performed by their band so and i think that's really interesting it kind of helps promote the show Anyway, let's jump right in and see what this new song has to offer us tonight. And click. I like it already. Life cycle, I get. Pretty good animation, actually. Apple falls on a tree, it decays. A new tree grows in that very spot. Very symbolic. Don't fear the reaper.
<laughs> a nice change of pace. <laughs> okay, that was a really good song. I'm gonna have to check out the original afterwards at some point. <laughs> but it's funny, that guy who appeared at the end, who was the Grim Reaper, that was actually one of the characters of the show. His name is Griff. He's kind of like, uh, well, he's kind of out there actually i remember in one of the web comics they shown him it was like his birthday rue was struggling to like make a cake for him when they finally give it to him he ends up eating it with ketchup <laughs> he's kind of a weird guy but he's also kind of a chill at the same time he's like a very laid back and weird guy you know <laughs> but yeah that was a really good song i really like that animation it really kind of symbolizes the don't fear the reaper vibe the song was talking about basically uh Apple falls from a tree, it dies, but a new tree grows in its place because of the seeds. Basically, when uh, it symbolizes that uh, death is just a part of life, and when it happens, then uh, it's like a never-ending cycle. When something dies, new life is created. Eventually, that dies, and new life is created from that. Death is just a part of life, and that's kind of what I like to see with that animation. Apple falls from the tree, it dies, a new tree grows from its seeds, and so on. The cycle continues. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that was a really good song. I'm going to have to check out the original afterwards, and I look forward to checking out the full pilot of Farfetch'd, which might be coming out some point next year. I, I can't guarantee that, but it should potentially come out eventually. It should be coming out soon, hopefully. Yeah, I look forward to checking it out. If you guys want to find out more about the show, I'll provide a link down in the description. So if you guys want to support the show in your own way, check out the comics, check out their other songs. You can feel free to check out their official website. Anyway, that does it for this reaction video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Later.